Today, I'll be sharing 5 tips to instantly make your editing space and the work itself more satisfying. If you're new here, my name is Danny James and on this channel I make content around music video editing, different styles and transitions that you can apply on your music videos and many many more. The first tip that I have for you guys is to customize your label colors. Now if you scroll through your timeline you have the different colors that are allocated to your clips and stuff and remember you can always go to editing your preferences and adjust the colors of those labels. Once you're on this menu, go to your Chrome tab and search flat UI colors. Once you're on the website, pick a random palette. I'll take the Dutch palette. Once you're here, there's an array of colors to choose from and a corresponding name, which makes it even better. So I'll pick this sunflower. I'll go back to my preferences, paste that right here, double click and then paste that color and then you can name it sunflower. And then do the same with other colors. I'll bring in my Android green, copy it. I'll click on the forest right here, double click and then paste that one and then give it the name Android green. I'll pick the last one just for the sake of the tutorial. There's a lavender rose. I'll pick it, come back to my settings and then paste that value and then I will rename it Lavender Rose. That way you'll notice that your timeline is even more vibrant and it has a customized touch to your liking. The second tip will be to customize the keyboard shortcuts and specifically the Q, W, E keys. Uh, go to your edit keyboard shortcuts, search ripple. If you're using Premiere, that's the ripple trim next edit to play ahead and ripple trim previous edit to play ahead. Edit them as you can see on my screen, put E as the next to play ahead and Q as previous to play ahead. Afterwards, uh, look for add edits and then change that shortcut to W. So you'll have Q on the left side, E on the right side and W in the middle. That way when I come back to my timeline, let's say I have this clip right here, I want to cut it right in the middle. Instead of going for my razor tool and cutting it or maybe some other shortcut, I just hit W and that way I have a cut. If I undo that, if I want to cut right here and delete anything that's on my left, I just hit Q and it ripple deletes everything and grabs everything. The same thing will apply with the E key. If I'm on this clip right here and I want to delete anything that's on my right and push everything back, I just hit E and everything comes back and it's so seamless. The third tip will be to save commonly used effects as presets. Okay, I have these two clips right over here. I added the posterize time effect and the echo effect to create a slow shutter effect. Now let's say I wanted to add the same effects to other clips on my timeline, maybe for example this clip right over here. I'd simply go back to this clip, hold control, click on those two effects, right click and save it as a preset. This doesn't have any keyframes so we don't have to anchor it to an endpoint. You can also add a small description and then hit OK. And now if I go back to my effects. Under presets, I can see that posterize time preset. I'll drag it to this clip and instantly it already has that look. This should inherently help you remove the redundant work that you do in your edits. The fourth tip will be to save your sequence settings and export settings as presets. Oftentimes when you're creating a new sequence, you might find yourself having to manually change these parameters, change the frame size and all that. The trick is to, once you're able to define all these settings according to how you like your sequence settings. Once you're done filling all this information, save it as a preset and then you can name it TikTok Timeline Settings and then you can save it. Now it should appear on this custom tab as one of the settings so you don't have to do that again. And the same thing should apply when you're trying to export your video. You already have the settings that you're usually adjusting whenever you're trying to export. Once you're done customizing all your settings, go to this small box and save that as a preset and the next time you won't have to do this again. And now the last tip that I have for you guys is to use LUTs when color grading your videos. The reason I recommend using LUTs to color grade your videos is you're able to cycle and switch between different looks and experiment in very few clicks. You can find LUTs anywhere on the internet, free and paid versions. The closest ones that I could plug you are on my website at dannyjames.co. I'll quickly go to my Lumetri Colors tab and I'll use one from my shop. Go to the Creative tab and then change the lookups. From my digital store, I'll go for the every season high LUTs. Let's try the pitch fade. You can see what it does to the video. Once you select the look and it doesn't match correctly to what you're looking for, go to your basic corrections. 
and adjust the temperature this one is blue change it to a much warmer tone and then if that's too much reduce the intensity so you can see if we disable the lumetri and if we enable it i'll try two more lats from my shop i'll go for the lost toys that's in the every season high lats if we reduce the intensity to about 50 percent and then go to our basic corrections and adjust our temperature and our tint now you have something a bit special there i'll try two more lats one from my sci-fi lat pack we'll try the venus we'll reduce the intensity up to about 50 percent and then we can reduce the temperature until we are able to dial in a good look now i'll try one more from my director's music video lats which are nine let's try the ignites and if we increase the intensity let's just take it to about 70 again you can adjust your temperature to accommodate your look yeah that's it those are five tips that you can use to make your editing work and the workspace itself more satisfying and easy to work in remember you can always show your support by giving this video a like and also subscribing if you're watching me for the first time feel free to check out my digital store i have presets packs and color grading lasts that you might find useful as i showed you in the last examples looking forward to see you on the next one my name is danny james see you on the next tutorial peace